Nick as a party and right now you're standing in the four to seven, four to sixes garden that we planted last year and we have most of fruit and veggies to supply the tuck shop with 80% of their food same on them. Um, over here we originally had cucumbers and zucchinis but it's the end of their season so we'll start planting new little seedlings. To... Well we had zucchinis and cucumbers over in the last get and bed over there. Here we had tomatoes and apple cucumbers and on this one it was lettuce and beans. The tubs were originally for each of the classes to have their own little garden so I could, each student got to plant one plant of whatever they liked of what seeds we had and the big ones for the special need. The special needs one is high up so people in wheelchairs can also plant plants. Well in this garden bed here it, we had potatoes and sweet potatoes and the actual garden bed's made of hay so when the hay begins to rot it will fertilise the garden so we don't have to use too many fertilisers. Or... And behind that is the herb spiral so it goes around in a big spiral and when you get to the top, that's the ones that like the most sunlight and the bottom likes all the moisture and shade. Well, the tables um, are going to become a new fern nursery, so all our little pot plants can be set along here and there'll be a shade sale or something to make sure they don't get too much sunlight. And in the cage behind me is where we'll be starting to make a chicken cage. So we'll, the tuck shop also gets fresh eggs. We work together with our um, class to create the garden, plant all the seeds. And we worked with Glencare Lisa to find out which, which plants would be best for the garden. For class we were learning about Aboriginals and what type of foods they were eating so our teacher asked us if we could create a bush foods garden as part of our unit. We have some bottle brushes which are for attracting all the native birds and butterflies. We have the little gooseberry which is where you can actually eat the foods. Um, the seeds. Over here we had ooh, whoops, the cin Cinder Bay Cherry which was one of the coastal bushes which the Aboriginals used to eat the fruits that grew on them. We had some native grass from the days when and you can eat the like the bottom, the stems of it really. Well once we started planting this garden, um, the kindy teachers come to have a look at our actual permaculture garden so they could build their own permaculture garden and they took real interest in the butch tucker garden so they asked me and some of our classmates, some of my classmates, to go down and tell them a bit about what we're doing and if we could help them build their own bush tucker garden down there. <laughs>